Uh, hello. So, this is a simple guide now how to assess your winning condition and playing axi. So, as you can see, na uh, what you need to do is always to check your opponent's speed and cards. Okay? Check the axi speed. Okay? And also check uh, their cards so that you will be aware okay, what they can use against you. Okay? Uh, always check the speed modifier for those cards and always check if they can provide any debuff that will provide advantage to the match okay uh, also check your damage advantage which is the just based from the acid damage circle and it's a healthy practice also to monitor the energy and card usage okay so in every game it's either you react to your two okay or you dictate the pace of the game so that's the two ways to on how uh, the game happens okay so this is the axi damage circle so you need to learn this to maximize the possible uh, win rate for your games okay so let's check here some replay from our scholar so as you can see uh, the scholar the scholar team here is the dusk and triple cute bunny and we will review the gameplay so basically uh, on my perspective based from the debuffs that we can produce every round as long as we have cute bunny we have advantage especially this turn all axes have cute bunny so on my perspective uh, i can use uh, this I can use watermelon and cute bunny or terror jump with another terror jump from my either back or mid but I will use back first I will fear the aqua of my enemy so that next turn whatever cards he use the first two cards he will use will miss okay so that's my advantage I will be wasting two energy of my opponent and two cards okay, that will deal no damage either to my plan Okay, if that is the case, so let's see what will happen here. So the scholar pass for me, this is already an advantage. If he used that, he will deal damage to uh, this plan, and you will fear uh, the back line or the back line, which is the first one to attack every round. So for me, that will that's what will I do on this turn. If I do that, I will also providing 85 armor to my plan, and I won't be fully receiving this 100 uh, 200 plus damage. 19 and 100 oops okay so next turn uh, the scholar used a arco and a uh, jar barrage now i won't utilize the jar barrage i will use this later on okay for me to have speed advantage over my end i prefer using the cute bunnies okay to debuff okay or disable them okay so as you can see there's a lot of cute bunny damaging card that was not utilized if i'll be playing this i think i can already in round three i might be killing the plant already and might be damaging a portion of the dust terminator here with shooting song i don't know why he's not using the cute bunny but for me it's the best cards to use okay until now it's not using the cute bunny i don't know why so though the plant uh reach around five but unfortunately, the utilization of the cute bunny guard was not very useful. So we draw another cute bunny. He damaged the dust. But unfortunately, he missed. We only have two energy. Same next round, four energy on both. We use the cute bunny that turn. That's be very. Effective. Now it's gonna be stunning and mm, dealing damage. This one is a good damage. Put into last turn. 
did not use the armor to the plant C. We have energy. We use the bone cylinder, he might survive. On this turn, first card, no damage. Oh, it's a burst. Okay. So I'm making this video because one of my scholar uh, get an MMR below 800. Okay. So we will help him. So let's check some replays. Other replays. So I won. Uh, I played this. Okay. So what I did here is first I double check all the uh, enemies cards. So this one have a stun, and that's and uh, and if I'm get stunned or any debuff, allergic reaction will have more damage. Okay. So for me this is a disadvantage. Though the speed of this one is 40, I have to actually faster than this, so I think I have an advantage. For the aqua. It has a buzzing wind as a debuff, so it means if I have armor, any damage I receive will be doubled so that I can lose armor as easy or the armor will melt faster or will vanish faster. You also have a uh, heal, but uh, that's not that effective because there's only a, uh, one animal part for this axi. But take note this is a 52 speed uh, aqua. And lastly, is he have a de two debuff here, okay? So one is uh, the reflect. It's not a debuff, but uh, the other one is disable mode and the additional damage when attack the axi that this axi will attack is faster. It will deal more damage. So basically, round one, uh, we are hammed with full cards from the the enemy. So let's see what will happen here, okay? So, uh, they apply a debuff to our axi. So, 2 zero cost was used by this axi. Okay. So, wala, there's no armor already. Okay. But what I did is, I disable or uh, apply fear using terror jump to the reptile. And he will miss here. Okay and apply another cute bunny from my plan okay so hoping that there's no attack but surprisingly there was two uh, surprise invasion from the back line and because i'm faster than him okay, i receive a lot of damage next round what i did is okay, i put a lot of armor or i i try to uh, utilize my plant by providing as much armor as possible so that uh, I can get the value out of it. Okay? So we receive a hot butt here. Okay? Our armor breaks, we gain one energy. We have five energy. Even though we are we cannot use our uh, cute bunny. So same applies attack here. Okay. It he breaks our armor, but I did pass on this turn because I think he cannot kill me. I know I did attack. I apply uh, I kill this uh, terminator say my terminator and he still blocks the mouth of uh, our plant so I cannot save the plant anymore that's why I try to use other cards from the other axi so I will draw a card here because that's the card effect of hero okay so we'll be killing the plant and I'll be uh, removing the stun and dealing small damage to the aqua. Okay. So next round. Okay. As you can see, all the last cards is cute bunny. So I can have a fear effect. Take note. I use Arco last turn. So I became faster than the 52 speed aqua. Okay. So that's utilization of speed modifiers. Okay, so I use uh, hero, hero card, okay, to draw this one, okay, so I will draw and I will fear the aqua so that the lamb, okay, this card, the angry lamb will miss, okay, to my uh, dusk, okay, let's see.
it will miss and I will kill the aqua okay. so that's my uh, that's how I play uh, this round so what happened here is uh, I know that this uh, axi his backline plant axi will put all armor possible okay so and probably life steal which is very low on damage so uh, I did pass I think I think I pass here because I know he cannot kill me there's no possible way he can kill me with four cards and he is of the slowest uh, on the turn order okay so after that what I did is I just play four cards again okay last cards is always cute bunny so that uh, two cards that he will be using will won't will not take effect or will miss okay so yes you have 260 armor that's okay we reflect some of the damage okay and another reflect okay so look at here uh, he used two uh, gain HP attack cards once uh, once in surprise invasion which deals more damage when the opponent axe is faster and a reflect okay? so because we use a cute bunny the first two cards won't hit so he won't get any heal okay? on that four card okay, our uh, dusk survive okay? and take note on the next round we also we have a draw of cute bunny again okay so we can continue doing that okay until we are confident that we can kill this plant okay we will take it slow even though it's round eight okay we'll just take it slow okay so if you think you can kill it okay? you can force especially if you have energy but this time uh, i still use the same combo last card will be cute bunny to stun okay. or to apply the fear debuff okay. so this is a win okay. Okay. so again what you need to do is to analyze the match okay. who will go first what are their cards how will you have a winning condition okay so upon analyzing this match okay i know that uh, i have a lot of bug and beast cards okay i have arco i have cute bunny i have hair okay and those are good damage cards on reptiles and plants so i think damage wise i'm very i have an advantage okay though he have stun and slow Okay. We just need to use effectively our cute bunny so that we can avoid this uh, slow or debuffs. Okay, so on the first round I skip because I don't think he have enough damage to kill me. But he stole one energy and attack the dust using watermelon. Okay, next round. Okay, I'm slowly applying cute bunny. Okay. So I'll be feeding the plant, even though he have a lot of card from the mid reptile. Okay, and now I attack hero here, additional damage. I don't know why he used, uh, uh, he don't want to break, uh, what he did there was he did want to break the armor, that's why he used stun after he used stun allergic reaction and mystic rush he doesn't want to break the armor of my plant so that i won't gain energy with uh with uh the carrot hammer it's a wise play but take note we are applying fear every time we attack okay I draw a card uh, because he did not break my armor and I have an extra card and I draw another cute bunny. So for me it's uh 
it's a good turn because uh, all my devops are rolling in okay. i have only three energy i only use two cute bunnies here and leave this plant in last time okay. and next turn uh, i use another cute bunny uh, why do i use a uh, cute bunny here just to fear the next card or the next axie uh, i did expect he will be attacking here but he is saving energy as you can see so he escaped okay. so i'll draw card because he doesn't break my armor and he is stunned okay oops so uh the problem here is this one goes faster because this is a 42, 42 speed uh, terminator and this one is 37 speed so it will attack her. So what will happen here is uh, all the debuffs I applied here won't take effect because uh, it only be feared by two card turn okay, or the two cards that will use on, in this turn or after the cute bunny will miss unless uh, other axi will play before him okay before this axi so basically i will receive all the damage the fear effect will disappear okay i was leave stunned okay that's okay he killed me here okay that's okay uh, i gain energy on that turn that's why uh, this is my option okay so as you can see uh, from my dust, I did not use bone cell area rounds. Okay? I'm faster and I use it this round because I need to save my mech because my mech backline mech is not that uh, tough. That's why I'm always saving the bone cell okay, to absorb any form of damage to my dust so that I can deal more damage to my backline. So that's what uh, this comp is uh, used to. Uh, utilize your plant after utilizing your plant okay make sure that your dust survive so that you can throw damage at the back okay and an advantage also here if he breaks my armor okay i will draw two cards because of that okay if not mistaken he will break my armor here and i will draw two extra cards Okay. So even though I'm stunned, okay, and if you will see, uh, I'm already stunned and I'm slowed three times. Okay. I won't let my enemy to uh, just kill my plan <coughs> or my dust card. <coughs> what will I do here is, as much as possible, okay, uh, put disabling cards to the enemy and put as much as high armor to my plan. Okay. Uh, I did provide 90 armor. Okay. I have uh, one bone sail, shuriken star, uh, tail slap. No, I use the tail slap to remove the stun. Uh, and I use bone sail to deal damage. And I expect a snail shell here. That's why I put another uh, tail slap okay, to avoid the stun. And the shuriken toss. So shuriken toss. Uh, star shuriken rather. Uh, to deal more damage here. Okay. So will I survive? I think I did survive here. Because I only used two cards. That 90 armor. Uh, make. Made this axis survive. Okay. Even though it slowed four times. Or 80%. I still managed to win. Okay, about, about for those two acts. And now this time, I will uh, combo him. Okay, he did not, not use any card. That's why I win. Okay. Uh, 